Hello students, welcome to our next video tutorial on engineering graphics and design subject. We are at unit number 1 projections of solids, exercise number 1 projections of solids 1, where we are dealing about, uh, about the problems with the axis at different uh, conditions. Case 1, I hope you all remain again perpendicular to axis. Axis is an imaginary line which is passing from top center to bottom center of prism, apex to bottom center of the base pyramid. Axis perpendicular to HP. Case 1, we have a deal about on 5 problems. Next, axis perpendicular to VP. Couple of problems we have deal. Next, axis inclined to HP parallel to VP. Axis inclined to HP parallel to VP. Couple of problems. Axis inclined to VP parallel to HP. Right? Uh, two more problems also we have discussed like this. We have discussed many problems with respect with respect to the axis, with respect to the axis having its locations in uh, HP and VP. Now we will uh, shall discuss some miscellaneous problems irrespective of the axis. Irrespective of the axis, axis may be parallel or may be perpendicular, but depending upon the position of uh, the object with respect to its slant edges, vertical edges. Right? Uh, uh, we have solved uh, all the previous problems uh, like axis when inclined to HP or inclined to VP with the two stage process. Stage 1 drawing its tool shape, stage 2 drawing the original projections. Right? Like this we are supposed to draw, uh, some, we are supposed to solve some miscellaneous problems. Look at the next problem number 2 or exercise number 1. A pentagonal pyramid with a base having 30 mm side and 70 mm long axis is lying on a slant edge on the ground with the axis parallel to VP. Draw its projections. Draw its projections. Which is the question? Hexagonal given pyramid. Hexagonal pyramid in the sense pyramid is a kind of polyhedron having base shape as hexagon and from each side triangular faces are raised to meet at a single point which is called as apex. Hexagonal pyramid with the base having 30 mm side. What is the base shape? Hexagon. Each side is 30 mm. And 70 mm long axis. Height long axis is 70 mm. He is lying on a slant edge on the ground. Slant edges. How many slant edges does a hexagonal pyramid will have? See pyramid. Base shape hexagon. I am sorry I don't have hexagon. I am show, showing just pentagon. Hexagon means 6. Right? Six sides from each side triangular faces. This is one, two, three triangular faces. How many triangular faces? Six triangular faces. Now, location is lying on slant edge on the ground. Slant edge is nothing but what? This is triangular face. This is base edge. Slant edge is this one. Slant edge. Total triangle face, slant edge. How many slant edges will have? How many corners will base have? As base shape is of hexagon shape, six corners from each corner, right? One line will be uh, raised to meet apex point, which is nothing but called as slant edge. Now, whatever the position is there, directly is giving is lying on the ground with slant edge. This slant edge is lying on the ground. It's lying on the ground with slant edge, completely like this. When it is drawn, you have to observe with respect to this, with respect to this slant edge. When you are looking from here, how many triangular faces will be visible? Like this, horizontally. Top view, front view. Right? Totally, whatever the object which is lying here, it is totally falling on HP with respect to the slant edge. How to draw it? Right? And you, you observe this one more condition he is given is axis parallel to VP. Now axis you can imagine from apex to the center. It will be straight. This slant is nothing but parallel. Right? Now this slant, whatever the axis, it should be parallel. When you draw this position on this, your axis will be inclined like this. Not like this, like this. Because apex to here. Now it is inclined to HP but not in, in regularly we will so we have solved like this but this is like this so he has not mentioned so don't worry about that so with respect to this condition how to solve 
same stage way process, stage one, stage two, right? We are supposed to rotate or uh, take into a particular position such that we can draw the true shape of the object. No, so as usual, whatever it's there, I'm, I'm taking like this. Taking like this. Now, it is on HP with respect to its base. What is the shape of the base? Hexagon. When which view you, you can draw its true shape? Top view. Top view you can draw. But slant edge. Now here we have to understand one more point. Slant edge is nothing but with respect to the corner. Now when you are looking from the top view, how hexagon has to be drawn? With respect to corner like this or like this. Slant edge comes with respect to corner of the base. So this has to be drawn, this has not to be drawn. So corner with respect to corner, top view. I hope you understand this every time I was telling you. Right? With respect to triangular face, I will solve one more problem that also. Right? You can you please remember. So with respect to slant edge, as part of the corner slant edge will start to meet at single apex point here. So we are supposed to draw this. If it is a right triangular face means it comes like this. So we are supposed to draw at this time. Now we are going with this. Hope you all understood the explanation. Two stage problem. Single XY line. Here there is no any condition that it is in front of the VP at a particular distance. So as per uh, Explanation we understood it is we have to come, we made it confirm that it is lying on HP top view. Now with respect to XY line, there is no such distance. So you can draw it directly. See, I'm using here any distance. Hexagon, top view hexagon, true shape we have drawn. Now what is this actually? It's a pyramid. Pyramid should be represented with the help of apex point in the top view. How you can get apex point? Center. Now as we are drawing pyramid, I have explained previously it's not a prism, it's a pyramid. Right? When you are drawing here, when you are looking from the top, this slant edge from the apex to the corners. We have we that that slant edge lines are thick lines which are clearly visible. So for hexagon, what you can do is you can just directly draw the lines between corners. This is O. Now from top view, when you are looking from O, A, B, C, D, E, F. O to A slant edge, O to B slant edge, O to C slant edge, O to D slant edge, O to E, O to F. Base shape. This is the top view. From this we are, this is the stage 1. From this we are supposed to project its front view. Front view is nothing but I always will recommend you looking from here. For that, what we are supposed to do? Height of 70 mm, right? If you want here itself, you can do the dimension for this. Immediately as 30. Now what I am recommending is with respect to axis. See with respect to axis, when I am looking for M here, O point I can see clearly it is not being dominated by any slant edge so from O I will start as axis line total height I have to draw 
axis at the height of 70 mm. This finally this will be O dash. Looking from here, from A, vertical projector. From B, which from B when I am drawing it coincides with F. Vertical projector. From C, when I am drawing it coincides with E. From D, vertical projector. Once vertical projectors are drawn, now it is on on HP. Why? Because slant edge is on the ground. On the ground is nothing but HP. To show it like this, we have rotated such that base comes on HP, nothing but on XY line. So completely there will be a base here. Now from here, points whatever you got as just trying to join. This becomes See from this point to O dash, from O dash to sorry here A dash, I will write points for B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash in brackets, F dash in brackets, A, B, C. C it is looking from here, it is visible clearly. So from C O dash, C dash, D, when I am looking from here with respect to half, D is clearly visible. Now E, E is where it exactly backs it, so it is dominating, no hidden line. F is, it exactly dominating with B, so no hidden line. Now finally, this becomes your stage 1. Now you are supposed to show this axis height. As 70. Hope you all are clearly understood this. Now, next point I have drawn up to here. Now, I have to rotate it such that it falls on the slant edge on the ground. Now, this has to be for slant edge on the ground. Now, which slant edge I have to take? I have to take this O dash D dash slant edge. OD slant edge. That slant edge I have rotated. Here comes actually height is 70. Now this O dash D dash length will be different. So I have to measure this O dash D dash. That distance I have to draw it here. I have to draw it here. O dash D dash. Now this becomes O dash, this becomes D dash. O dash, D dash. Sir, why this only? One slant edge. Slant edge on the ground. This is a slant edge. O D, O dash, D dash. One line. Now, with respect to this, now measure this length. D dash, A dash. Whatever the angle you have inside here, right? You have to measure this angle. Now, this length A dash, D dash has to be measured. A dash D dash has to be measured. This angle, now you have to consider that. Now, suppose this angle is length is here, that length should be drawn like this. And consider the triangle A dash O dash D dash. This triangle has to be fallen. This length and this, this length and this uh, base. Now, once you have drawn, you can clearly understand O dash, A dash, D dash. Same I have rotated. Now, plot the points. With respect to A dash, this becomes B dash. Center place for axis. Now, this becomes A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash. Inside E dash, F dash. 
So with respect to this, a dash, b dash thick line, c dash thick line, d dash already we have drawn as thick line. Now comes here axis line also dash dot. I hope you all understand this is the important step. O dash d dash which is satisfy a slant edge on the ground, slant edge fall on the ground. Same reconstructing, right? Now you you don't uh, uh, one more condition with axis parallel to VP. Parallel to VP means you can observe only in the top view below x y line. Now that top view you have to project here by using projectors. How you can draw projectors is with respect to O dash. Now here from a dash, b dash, c dash, d dash. Now from here, o, o line is center line. A, O, D all combines from B, C up to here. Simple. Pick the points. How you can do pick up is O2O, o. here it becomes O1 dash A, here comes A and here comes A, this becomes A1 a new point, B, second thing, this becomes B1, C, I have not drawn much angle, there will be much angle, C1, D, E1, E, E1, F, F1. Hope you all understand this. Now, drawing base shape. When you are looking from here, nothing but top view. Which base edges are thick? Which base edges are hidden? Now, if you observe when you are looking from here, this slant edge uh, entirely it's completely visible, all all visible. See now with respect to slant edge, what are the edges there? When I'm looking from top, actually this is like this. When I'm looking from top, this entire face I can see there is no any hidden base. Entire base will be thick. See how entire base. When I'm looking from here, I can see A clearly, B clearly, C, D, back side E, F. Right? With respect to this, this shape is entirely clearly visible. So. A1, B1, C1, D1, E1, F1, A1. Complete hexagon. Now, coming to this from top view, slant edges. What slant edges are clearly visible or thick? Or thick. Now, with respect to this, I always tell you center line. That center line may be edge or axis. Now, here, Center line is axis. With respect to axis, above slant edges which you are able to see in the front view, they are clearly visible as thick lines in the top view. With respect to the center line here axis, in the second stage front view, above lines, whatever the slant edges are there, those are clearly visible thick lines or thick slant edges in the top view. You have to understand this. So from here with above, what are the slant edges I have? A dash, O dash. Now here it becomes, sorry, O dash. A1, O1. A thick edge. Now with respect to center line axis above, B dash, O dash. Now here that becomes B1, O1. With respect to center line above, I can see F. F dash, O dash. Here you will get a doubt. In brackets, it's there F dash, which is backside. In the front view, F dash is backside. So F dash O dash is a hidden slant edge in the second stage front view, which is backside. But when you are looking the from top, right, backside will be clearly visible as a thick slant edge in the top view, respective top view. So for that reason, from F1, you have to draw a thick line called O1. With respect to center, I have done anything, everything. Now, below three more slant edges are there. What are those? 
C dash O dash. Now it becomes C one O one. Now C one O one, you are supposed to draw in a line. D dash O dash. D one O one. That's being dominated. You observe. When I try to draw in a line from D one to O one, it goes inside to A one O one. So you are now observe only hidden here. A one more E. E dash O dash. It comes E one O one hidden edge. That's it. You have finished. Clear? Right. You may get doubt about axis. See a where is axis? Here from O. If you draw, this is O one line. Axis from here. If I try to draw with respect to this, right? Actually, it will be somewhere here. This point, this O, right? I have to put out which is being dominated by the slant edge O one A one and underground O one B one. So no need to show the axis. If you want to still show the axis, this is the only place to show from center. Right, if I try to draw here, center to here, only small gap. You can find dash only dash dot dash dot some place. This place only this place. That means O one A one thick slant edge which is clearly visible. Back side from O one to here center axis line, and then back again D one to O one hidden edge hidden slant edge. Hope you all understand this simple problem, right? Remember slant edge. Now, if you check axis parallel to B, axis is from O1 to center. You can observe for X Y it's parallel. We are satisfied. Now, think here. You are supposed to analyze the problem in such a. You all it has to be visualized by you. But you should have to visualize yourself. How the object will be if it is on slant with respect on slant edge with respect to HP. How it will be where uh, by by rotating to which location I can draw its true shape of the base in the top view or front view. All you have to analyze yourself and you have to start the stage one. Then you can proceed and you can draw the stage two. Right. This also part of axis inclined to one plane parallel to the other. Axis inclined. Here, axis is inclined. You can tell the axis inclined to which plane? X P, but not a regular type. Previously, if it is like this axis, we have drawn like this, but we we need this reverse. So, as part of miscellaneous problems, with respect to the edges, this this type of problems are also being asked, and we have to understand, and we have to solve them in the exams also. I hope you all understand. Still, if you have any doubts. You can contact me at any time. Thank you. Jai Hind.